This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verses 9 and 10. Verse 9, and it reads, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Verse 10, And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. All praise is glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and known as a great millstone who rule well and teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be likened to the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners and your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. All right, this is your brother, Ayasha Barzal from the Indianapolis camp. I'm a Yash. All right, and uh, we're going to tackle this uh, uh, innumerable multitude uh, in Revelation uh, chapter uh, 7, uh, verse 9. And, and, and 10 uh, going on expound through 10 because right now you have you know these uh silly uh jakes and of course these are the uh, the two-thirds you know these heathen nations uh, uh saying believing that this verse means that you know uh, all nations can be saved which is simply not true you know um but which so so it's essentially what you're saying is only 144,000 Israelites are going to be saved and uh, everybody else is going to be from every nation. That is not uh, uh, true. All right. So we can um, uh, disprove that through uh, with this precept. This is the book of Hosea, chapter one. And verse 10. And it reads. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. That's that innumerable multitude. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said to them, Ye are the sons of the living God. And the place where we were said that we were not as people as those lands that we were scattered to, okay, once we got kicked out of the land, okay? And then when he says, uh, it shall be said to them that, uh, ye are the sons of the living God. That's him, him uh, uh, calling us back, adopting us back in, okay, uh, and, and, and to the fold, all right, back into the uh, nation of Israel, like we're supposed to be, the bloodline descendants of Jacob, all right? You got something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and just to back that up, uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 11. Verse 26. All right. And it reads, And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, There come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. All right. So here again in verse uh, 26, it says, All Israel is not limited to 144,000. Okay. Uh, he says, uh, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. And who is that deliverer? Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. You know, and homage, his, his job, his purpose was to, to save his people. That's what his name uh, means. His name means Yahweh Shai, he who saves or he who delivers. All right. And he says, uh, when he, uh, he said in Matthew 18, 11, uh, he came to save that which was lost. Okay. And then Matthew 15 and 24 uh, roughly paraphrases, he says, I am sent but not unto the lost sheep of Israel. He wasn't coming back from the end of the nation. All right. And then it says, uh, uh, verse, uh, and it says, uh, turn, he shall uh, uh, turn away from ungodliness from, from Jacob. And that's, you know, getting into these uh, heathen ways, heathen customs, anything contrary to the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. Verse 27, it says, For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. Okay, now the thing is, what is sin? Transgression of the law. Okay, who was the law given to? Only Jacob, according to Psalms 147, verses 19 and 20. Okay, 
Who was that covenant with? Again, only Jacob, according to Psalms uh, 50 and 5. All right. And uh, Leviticus 26 and 46. All right. The covenant is only with the nation of Israel. That's why he uh, said in uh, uh, Amos uh, chapter 3, verse 1 and 2, you know, he will punish us for our iniquities because we are the only family that he has known. All right. Um, getting back to that Revelation 7. And nine okay and it says uh, uh so that's you know that that right there is just going into uh the, the innumerable multitude okay um that you can also uh, get that in uh second Ezra uh chapter uh two verses 42 through 47 where again it talks about that innumerable multitude and we, we may touch on that a little bit later okay but it also says well, which no man could number we prove that he says, of all nations, okay, according to the curse of uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 64, we were uh, scattered to, to the uttermost parts of the earth, okay, all nations, all right? And this is, um, just to prove that, in uh, Deuteronomy, I believe it's 30 and 7. said uh the nations where i've scattered thee okay yeah uh deuteronomy chapter uh uh 30 uh verse 1 and it says and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee the blessing and the curse which i have set before thee and thou shalt call them to mind among all nations whither yahweh thy power have driven thee okay verse 2 and shall return unto Yahweh thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Okay? Verse 3. Uh, then, that then Yahweh thy power will turn uh, thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations where the, the Yahweh thy power have scattered thee. Okay? So yeah, he's he's uh that's that's talking about the nation of Israel. We were the only ones who were scattered to every nation uh, uh under heaven, okay? Which goes in, in, into those tongues. You know, we we took on the tongues and the tongues is is languages, okay? When you go into that word, it's the different languages that that we spoke, okay? We know that we're Israelites over here, okay? We speak English, okay? But we are Israelites, you know? Remember, we were discontinued from our heritage, according to uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. All right? You got some? Yeah, this is uh, the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. All right, and when you go into that word scattered, all right, the word you get there in the Greek is diaspora. And the main definition right there is of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. Kind. And also this diaspora goes back to the curses of Deuteronomy 28. Because of our transgressions, we were scattered across the four winds of the earth, man. All right, scattered all across the globe. So due to us being scattered all across the earth, you know, all Israelites ain't going to look the same because we were mingled among the heathen, as the Psalm 106 tells us. All right, being mingled among the heathen, we would take on the ways, take on the customs, man. All right, we would uh, be, uh, begin to look like them. Mm -hmm. All right, but even though, even though we were uh, mingled among the heathen, our seed line still goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, making us Israelites. Come, come. All right. Um, back in that Revelations uh, seven and nine. All right. That's the, the nations. And then it says all uh, uh, kindred. You want to look at that word uh, kindred in that, in the blue letter, in that? Uh, kindreds. Strong's G, 5443. Fule. Fule. 
says in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. Con, the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? So it's not talking about any other uh, a nation. Remember, we were scattered all over the world. Okay? All over the world. And all the nations benefited, you know, from us being scattered. Remember, uh, Jake is the salt of the earth. Okay? They all benefited from us. Okay? They all spoiled us. All right? And now that, you know, we're beginning to identify uh, who, who we are, you, you know, uh, that they have a problem with that. All right? So this this, this right here, you know, it, 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 it kills that, that whole thing uh, where everybody tries to talk about the Jew and the Greek. In, in, in Galatians 3, you know, and, and even in there, it, it tells you right in there, not of seeds of many, but as a seed of one. Okay. And that, and that, and that seed of, of one, it goes from Abraham to Isaac and Jacob. Okay. No one else, but we know Abraham and reason why it says seeds of many, because Abraham had eight sons all together, six by Keturah, one by Hagar and, 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 and one by Sarah. Okay. That chosen line was uh, it came through Sarah, not those, not through Keturah or Hagar, okay. So that's the that's the line it goes through, all right. And he's not talking about any other nation. As a matter of fact, that Psalms one nineteen, uh, uh, um, it's like here one forty seven verses nineteen and twenty clearly says, you know, he's he's only dealt with with uh, the nation of uh, Israel. He's not dealt so with any other nation, all right. And it's like he's going into a chosen seed being Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Galatians 4, I believe it is, goes into uh, um, Apostle Paul uses the uh, the uh, analogy of the free woman and the bond woman. And the free woman being Sarah yep. and the uh, 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 bond woman being Hagar. All right. But ultimately, hey, that promise goes through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Yep. All right. Yep, this this sure does. This sure does. And uh let's see we can get that in um Baruch. This is the book of Baruch. Chapter two. Um uh, I'm gonna start at verse uh thirty. All right. And it's uh reads For I knew that they would not hear me. Because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Okay, now that's a cut to the people, uh, uh, the you wish, who are uh, occupying the Holy Land right now, say, saying that they are the people. You know, they don't have to remember themselves. There's plenty of videos out there while they're, where they're saying that they always knew who they were. Okay, we proved to you, according to Jeremiah 17 and 4, that we will be discontinued from our heritage. Okay. He says, in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Where's the great awakening happening right now? Right here in Babylon the Great. All right. And it says, um, it's where it's, mass, the mass awakening the mass, is. The mass awakening is, yeah. In America, but remember, Israel is scattered all across yes. the globe. So you're going to have Jake waking up everywhere. Yes, yes. And, and, and that is absolutely correct. Jake is waking up uh, everywhere. But like you said, the mass awakening is here because. Uh, as it was in ancient Egypt, as it is now in spiritual Egypt, which is America, Babylon, and Great. Um, ancient Egypt was the first time we were all in captivity together, okay? And this spiritual Egypt is where we are all together again, according to uh, uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33, okay? Judah and Israel are pressed together in Babylon, roughly paraphrasing, all right? Um, verse, back in Baruch chapter 2, verse 31. And shall know that I am Yahweh their power, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. Okay, and that, that heart goes into, you know, actually your mind, okay, to hear. You know, as, as, as the scriptures uh, uh, said, you know, Yahweh shall say that my sheep shall hear my voice, okay. And his elect are hearing that call, you know, coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments, calling on the correct name, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, okay. Yahweh, meaning he is, he existed, he to be. Bahashem in the name Yahweh Shai, the Son, he who saves and he who delivers. Okay? And uh, verse uh, th 32. 
who says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. That's what we're doing every day, especially his prophets out here on the highways and byways, week in and week out, you know, um, um, you know, giving those lessons, you know, uh, speaking into the ears of our people, making these scriptures plain upon table so they can understand and do what they need to do to repent and come back to the law, statutes and commandments. Do their due diligence to uh, make the calling with their election sure. Okay. And it says, um, verse 33, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before me. And, and, and that's the thing, you know, I, I know uh, myself amongst uh, other brothers, you know, we're saying, wow, you, you know, man, they really had to piss Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai off for us to be in this wretched condition that we're in, you know. And, and and we have to, you know, stop and pause and think because, uh, you know, we are in a regeneration. You know, we were someone in that time before. So we have to be careful and just make sure that we repent for those actions. OK, because it could have been one of us that was going off. OK, very well could have been and because the scriptures say uh, there's not a just man who is not sinned or transgressed the law. OK, so we have to, you know, do our due diligence. All right. And it says, uh, verse 34, I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. There's that seed line uh, um, uh, brother was talking about earlier, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's not dealing with any other nation, no other nation whatsoever. He says, I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. Meaning that, you know, uh, we, we will never be at the bottom of the tolling pole again. We will never be the tail again. We will never be in, in, in want for anything again. He's, he's bringing us back, you know, having mercy on us, you know, setting us back in our homeland, you know, where we can keep our own laws, statutes, and commandments, okay? And then subject the other nations to it, according to the scriptures. Okay, we were gonna be, we're gonna be the people that he called us, you know, that holy people unto himself above every nation under heaven. All right, so that Revelation seven and nine is not talking about other nations of people. This is only talking about the nation of Israel. All right, and verse thirty five. Here's the kicker right here, uh, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. To be their God and they shall be my people and I will no more drive my people out of the land uh, my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them okay and that's a cut to this false doctrine that's going on right, right now okay he says I will make an everlasting covenant that's the new covenant that doesn't happen until we return back into the land all right does not happen until we turn, uh, go back. We're not in our land right now. Okay. This, this is the new covenant according to, uh, Jeremiah 31 and, uh, Hebrews eight. All right. This is the new covenant where it says that we will need no man to teach us because we're all going to, the laws are going to be uh, written on our inward parts and our hearts. You know, it's going to be automatic. Okay. That we keep the law. So we'll never go off again. Plus, we're going to have those uh, incorruptible bodies. All right. So, yeah, this is, you know, saying that, you know, these are uh, nations of other people. That's out of order. OK, that is absolutely incorrect. Plus, when you go to uh, Revelations uh, uh, 21 and, and 12, you know, the name of the gates is for the 12 tribes of Israel. No other nation. It doesn't say anything else. You got some? Mm hmm. This is uh, Hosea chapter 8 and verse 8. It says, Israel is swallowed up, swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. And right, you know, also due to our wickedness, what? You know, we were scattered all across the four corners of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. right, you got Israelites scattered all across the earth, man. All right, and also we've been subject unto these heathen nations, man. All right, taking on their ways, their idols at a point in time, man. All right, so ultimately us being under those heathen nations, man, all right, it's part of the scatter. It says, uh, now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure because it was a point in time where 
the Heavenly Father didn't have any pleasure in us, all right, due to our wickedness, man. Mm. All right, and mm. as punishment, all right, the Lord has scattered us across the earth and made us subject unto these heathen nations, man. Mm. All right, in the process of us being scattered, all right, being under these heathen nations, you know, once again, we're taking on their ways, their customs, man. All mm. right, becoming like them, man. All right, man. so ultimately going back to Revelation 7 and, 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 and 9, man. Are going to those uh, different uh, uh, kindreds, tongues, and nations, man. And people, yeah. And yeah. people that's talking about Israelites mm -hmm. scattered across the the earth, man. Mm -hmm. Are under the ways of these other heathen nations. Mm -hmm. uh, you had made the point that he was uh, uh, mad at us. Uh, could you repeat that again? It says, uh, Maybe now, you think should, of something. now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no, is no pleasure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, this is, I uh, just want to back you up there. Um, be, be because of that, uh, this is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, uh, verses 7 and 8. It says, For a small moment I have forsaken thee, but with great mercies I will gather thee. Who is he gathering? His elect, you know, from the four winds of the earth, according to Matthew 24 and 31. All right? His elect. His elect is, is the nation of Israel, according to, uh, I believe it was Isaiah 45 and, and 5. I can grab that. Yeah, go ahead and grab that right quick. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 4. It says, For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, mm. I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, even though thou hast not known me. Ah, so, yeah, his elect is the nation of Israel. Okay? Uh, the, the That's the one-third, according to Zechariah uh, 13 and 9. And also in this very chapter, uh, that one third is the 144,000 plus the innumerable multitude. Okay, so once again, for you uh, uh, wicked uh, Jakes and you other nations, you know, believing he's only going to save 144,000 uh, uh, Israelites and that's it, uh, you, you out of your damn mind. That's not going to happen. All right, uh, back into Isaiah chapter 54, verse 8. It says, in a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, thy Redeemer. Okay? All right? So here again, read that again. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith, uh, and I'll read it verbatim, uh, the Lord thy, thy Redeemer. So with that being said, that goes right back to that Hosea 1 and 10. When he hid his face, he says, there you shall, uh, you, you are not my people. And then when he uh, have uh, mercy on us, uh, uh, and also there, you will be called the living sons of, 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 of God. You know, roughly, uh, roughly paraphrasing Hosea 1 and 10. All right. And, you know, even, even dealing with the elect, um, like the Lord said in Isaiah 45 and 4, Jacob, my servant, sake, and Israel, my elect. <laughs> and you know, when you go into the uh, Zondervan uh, Bible Dictionary and you, uh, you look up the word elect, what does it say, man? Right, that uh, 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 universal salvation is foreign to the scriptures. Yep. Meaning universal salvation is not in the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. So pretty much saying that, you know, salvation is not open unto all nations, only open unto the nation of Israel. God. God, God, all right. Just back in that uh, Revelations uh, seven, unless you got something else. Okay, Revelation seven. All right, back in nine and ten. All right. Um, it says, "Stood before the throne, uh, before the Lamb." Who was that Lamb? Let's get it. This is a uh, book of John, mm -hmm. uh, chapter one. I want to say around 29 and 36. Yep, I got it. You got it. Go ahead. This is um John chapter 1, verse 29. It says, The next day John seeth Yahweh Shai coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High, which taketh away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. And um, let me see here. Going to that word, world in that scripture. What Greek word pops up, man? The Greek word cosmos. Mm -hmm. All right. And going into that, it said an act, a harmonious arrangement, or constitution, order, government. So you ultimately 
You know, you got different worlds uh, uh, set up by uh, different uh, laws, man. Mm. Right? You got uh, the basketball world that's set up by different uh, uh, laws and regulations. You got the football world that's set up by different laws and regulations. The entertainment world in general. Mm -hmm. The sports world set up by different laws and regulations. Right? The music industry that's set up by different laws and regulations. But, hey, Israel is a world in itself set up by different laws and regulations. The laws, statutes, and commandments by Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And that's when you go to Isaiah 45 and 17. It said, Israel uh, uh, shall be shall be uh, uh, saved with an everlasting salvation and a world without end, man. Mm -hmm. All right, showing you that Israel is a world in itself. So this word cosmos, man. All right, this word world. All right, the word uh, being cosmos in the Greek, man. All right, it's talking about the world of Israel because for one, all right, as uh, Pops mentioned earlier, all right, uh, sin is transgression of the law according to 1 John 3 and 4. Who was the law given to, man? The nation of Israel and the nation of Israel only, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So in turn, also, us Israelites are truly the only ones who can sin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because we were the only ones given the law. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Oh, you said that that word was uh, uh, government was in that definition, mm -hmm. the cosmos too. Okay, this is uh, the book of uh, Isaiah chapter... Uh, 9 verse 6 and this is a prophecy of Yahweh Shai, uh coming all right and this is uh it reads for uh, for, uh, for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder okay and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty God the everlasting father the prince of peace verse 7 of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establishment with judgment and with justice from hence even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Okay. So here again, that's going back into, that's that government. Like he's, he gave the definition of world and that, and that, that government is going to be uh, headed by uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, and then 144,000. Okay. That's the government of Israel, the rulers and judges. All right. So, yeah, this is that that this 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 verse is only talking about the nation of Israel. That's who that innumerable multitude is. All right. Um, back into that revelation. You got anything else? Um, yeah. Go ahead. This is uh, Matthew chapter twenty-four. And um, in verse 30, it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Also, what do we know that, what do we know the clouds of heaven to be, man? The chariots of Israel, which the world uh, ignorantly, it's like it ignorantly calls UFOs and UAPs, man. All right, but we know those. I could spread the power of Yahweh by Shemi Ashari to be the chariots of Israel, man, because oh. ultimately that has been revealed unto us, man. Mm -hmm. As the book of Amos 3 and 7 says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. All right, the chariots themselves are a secret that have not been revealed unto everybody, man. Mm -hmm. All right, but it's ultimately in the eyes of the world, man, they're still unidentified, but we know them to be the chariots of Israel. Mm -hmm. All right, ultimately when they see uh, the chariots of Israel arrive, our great fear is going to fall upon the land because ultimately those chariots are bringing destruction. Mm -hmm. All right, as well as the salvation of the elect. Mm -hmm. In verse 31, it says, And he shall send his angels with the great sound of the trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Con. Once again, going back to that, to that uh, diaspora, man, the scattering or dispersing of the Israelites uh, to the four corners of the earth, man. All right. And once again, where the where uh, what nation is known as the elect men are right, the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. All right, but there's an elect within the elect because even though Israel is the elect nation, all right, two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to die off, man. Yep. All right, but you have that one third elect, which consists of the one hundred forty four thousand and the innumerable multitude. All right, the hundred forty four thousand judges being men. All right, then the innumerable multitude consisting of men, women, and children. God, God. God. And I just want to point something out here in that uh, Revelation verse 10. He says, and, uh, and cried with a loud voice saying, salvation to our God, 
which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. We already uh, discussed who the Lamb was, but right here where it says salvation unto our God. Who is that salvation for? You know, we read in um, um, uh, Romans 11, 26, it says all Israel shall be saved. But let's get that in um, Isaiah 45 and 17. This is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 17. It says, uh, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Mm -hmm. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confound a world without end. Huh. That says, with the world without end. Okay? So that's going back into that world, uh, uh, being, uh, you know, being, being the nation of Israel. Because we know, according to he Hebrews uh, 11, he made he formed worlds plural okay all 18 nations uh, is its own world okay all 18 nations are but it's only talking about the nation of Israel he said world without end okay immortality okay and that's the only nation that it speaks of that will have uh, immortality uh, uh, Sirach 37 and, and, and 25 says that the days of, of, of men, uh, roughly paraphrasing, are numbered, but the days of Israel are innumerable. They're innumerable because you can't count immortality. Okay? It's forever and ever and ever. Okay? It says Israel shall be saved. You will not find another scripture in the Bible that talks about another nation of people. And when I say nation of people, that's through the bloodline progenitor of that, not, you know, uh, Israelites looking like them. Okay? That's true, from the bloodline, okay? Um, you, will not, you will not find in the scriptures anywhere that another nation of people can be saved. It's just not going to happen, all right? But uh, something uh, just stuck out to me right here. It says, to our God, that is uh, possessive, okay? Our God. And what, you know, the scripture that comes to mind is uh, the book of Joel. In there. You there? Go ahead and read it. This is uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 27. It says, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Man, he's the Lord our God, and, and none else. He is the God of no one else. Okay, and he, he made that clear. When he, uh, you know, uh, what was that, De 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 Deuteronomy uh, 32, verses 8 and 9, mm -hmm. you know, the lot of his inheritance is, 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 let me just go ahead and get that so I won't butcher, butcher it, you know, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verses 8 and 9, it says, when the Most High divided to the nations, or the worlds, okay, their inheritance. When he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Okay? Verse 9. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Okay? Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. And we know Jacob is interchangeable with uh, uh, Israel. His name was changed to Israel. And you'll get that in um, Genesis uh, uh, 32 as well as 35. Okay? His name was changed to Israel. So the Lord was only dealing with the nation of Israel when he separated them. And we can uh, prove that in um, 2nd Ezra 6. Get that precept of, of Adam come we all. And it's chosen, yeah. This is uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, beginning at verse fifty-four. It says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, mm -hmm. of him come we all, mm -hmm. and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Okay, so that chosen people, right there in that scripture, goes back to that Deuteronomy chapter two, verses uh, eight and nine. His chosen people, all right, which is the nation of Israel. Again, the lot of his inheritance, the Lord's portion. 
All right. It says, All of this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Time. So we're supposed to be in rulership right now. But because we transgress, you know, uh, we, we, we lost that. And, and the Lord told us that back in our Deuteronomy chapter of 4, verses of 39 and 40. We're supposed to be ruling this earth. All right. It says, as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. God, he says he has likened them unto spittle. Now, what is spit? Spit. You know, you ever walk down the uh, street and spit on the ground? Is that something you're going to be concerned with? No. He says, and has likened uh, uh, the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. You know, same thing. You're walking down the street on a hot summer day. You got a cold drink in your hand. You know, the condensation uh, on the side of the cup. Or let's say even some of it spills from the cup and hits the ground. Are you going to try to go back and, and, and recover that? No. That's what he thinks of the other nations. So here again, going back to Revelations uh, uh, 7, uh, 9 and 10, that innumerable multitude he's dealing with is the nation of Israel, period, okay? And, and, and like I said, you know, you can you can catch the precepts of that in uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verses uh, 42 through 47. It's, it's, it's saying the, the same thing, you know, a little bit more detail, but it's saying the same thing, you know? The son of man, who was Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, putting the crowns on those who stood stiffly for him until the very end. He wouldn't do it until the end. All right. You got anything else? We'll finish off the second Ezra. Go ahead. The second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 57, says, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been, been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Con, so you got right here, <laughs> pretty much that scripture is saying, you got nobodies ruling over his chosen people. And, you know, um, Yes, it's bad for uh, a lot of Jake in this day, but when you look at the history of the mutilations, the hangings, the lynchings, everything they did to us in, in, in history to cut us off at every turn, burn down our, our, our communities, man, you know, we, you know, there's no doubt we pissed Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai off to a degree that, you know, we did not know. <laughs> Uh, was even possible, you know, they thought he was playing, you know, and, 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 and then, you know, just to, uh, just to make another point here, you know, when, uh, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord was crucified, you gotta remember, we were already in the, in the Roman captivity, already in that captivity, and, uh, when it came down between, um, Barabbas and, and Yahawashai, you know, uh, just roughly paraphrasing, you can get the account of that story in Matthew 27, um, he said, um, you know, he didn't want anything to do with it. And our people said, let his blood be upon our heads and our children's heads. You know, so you, man, you know, that is something to really think about. We were already under the curses and in captivity. And that word you put out there just made it worse. You know, just made it worse. And that's why two-thirds of our people got to go. One of the reasons two-thirds of our people got to go. All right? So, yeah, you know, and, and right now, like, like the brother read, you know, uh, they are lords over us and to devour us. I mean, even though uh, when, you, when, you, when you look at this, when you look at the scripture, you know, devours, you know, they would rather... Get rid of us knowing they have no way to eternal salvation rather than us have it. And, and, and we see that at, at every turn. We were just talking in, in, in camp uh, t today. You know, we can be every anything else but the Israelites because they know, you know, uh, recompense is going to be something else. You didn't done this stuff to us for centuries. Okay. And the fact, you know, you know that payback is going to be something else, but it's going to be a righteous payback. 
All right. In verse 58, it says, But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given to their hands. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Go ahead. And ultimately, you know, the world being made for our sakes, man. All right, uh, uh, we have the promise of the kingdom, man. All right, but hey, ultimately, right now, man, we're going through a punishment, man. Yep. Why? Because of our wickedness, man. Yep. All right, that's why we're that's why we're not in rulership right now. All right, that's why we're subject to the heat is because of our transgressions against you. How we watch me outside, but ultimately, now this isn't going to go on forever. All right, as just keep saying, the world was made for our sake, so it's going to come a point in time, and we're coming to those days, man. Our right, word, the Lord is going to uh, 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 execute a power shift, man. Mm -hmm. All right, take Esau out of rulership and put Jacob in rulership, as the scripture tells us. Uh, for for Esau is the end of the world, you know, the end of an age, an aeon, man, this wicked age, man. All right, Jacob is the, is the beginning of it that follows, man. Mm -hmm. All right, Jacob is the beginning of a righteous age, man, a righteous aeon, man. Yep. All right, so also when you come to those times, man, all right, where the world is going to be ours again, man. Yep. All right, beginning with our Lord Yahweh Shai, because ultimately, this is the kingdom of Yahweh Shai we're talking about. Mm -hmm. All right, and then us, Lord will be that number, us being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. God. All right, he's going to share the inheritance with us. God, God, God. All right, you got anything else? All right, so with that, once again, to, uh, you know, anybody that's, you know, viewing this, uh, salvation is only for the nation of Israel. No other nation. Revelation 7 and 9, the innumerable multitude, is only talking about the nation of Israel. And we've, you know, given you a multitude of, uh, a plethora of precepts to prove that. And there's a whole lot more that can prove the same thing. So with that, we hope this lesson was edifying for the body. Once again, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakwendash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. Ababa Ba. Ababa Ba. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. All right, Shalom.